Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at Snagit 2022, some of the top features, what's new to 2022, and also why do I continue to choose Snagit for all my screenshot needs. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the kind people over at TechSmith have offered to sponsor this video as I've been a long time user of their products. And as you can see here from logging into my TechSmith account, you can see I've been using their products for many, many years, all the way back to Snagit 12 when it still had a different logo. Now the reason I continue to use Snagit as a product for my screenshots and screencasts is because it is just such a solid product. And I'm going to show you today some of the new features that have come into 2022's version version that are going to make it even better. Now, as with my other videos on Snagit and Camtasia, you'll find the link in that description below. That's my affiliate link, but it also gives you an additional bonus on top of the educational discount you already get as an educator or as a school. Now let's go ahead and open up Snagit 2022. Now here we are in the main interface of Snagit 2022, which is very similar to the previous interface. Now I'll start by just quickly highlighting some of the new things that have come into Snagit 2022. Now the first one you can see here, and that is your cloud library. Now before all the images taken with Snagit and edited within Snagit were stored locally on your computer. Now you can link them to cloud storage. So as you can see here, we have box support, Dropbox support, Google Drive support. Now, what does that look like? Well, we can now link this to our cloud storage. Let's open up our settings, edit, and we open up the preferences. And here we have an additional option. This option library will enable us to link it to our cloud storage. So here at the bottom where you see library location, I can change that by clicking on choose location. And we can now also select cloud storage. So once you've linked this, all your images will now automatically be backed up to your cloud storage of choice. Now I use Google Drive a lot, so I would select Google Drive. Now in order for this to work, you do have to install their clients onto your device. So for example, at the moment, Google Drives is not installed and therefore Google Drive is not one of the options at the top. However, once that is installed, I can link these no problem. Now Snagit as Camtasia is available on both Windows and Mac. Now another big change to Snagit 2022 is how it deals with files. These were previously two completely separate file formats. Now they're using a cross-platform file format. So you can see here it is the Snag X file and this completely replaces the previous files. It'll automatically convert your previous images to the new file format and these are now cross-platform. In other words, they're supported on both Windows and Mac platforms. This is great for those teachers working in a school where you have some MacBooks, some Windows devices, and you just need to use those same files across all these different ecosystems. So this is a huge change to how Snagit deals with those files. And talking about these two versions of Snagit, they're making them way more consistent. So you can see here, there's been lots of updates to how the different elements and different tools look in both the Mac and the Windows version. So that consistency is constantly being updated. And again, in Snagit 2022, this has been a big focus of their updates. Which brings us to one of my favorite updates for the Snagit 2022, and that is the picture-in-picture -picture video feature. So let's have a look at what this does, what changes about the video recording functionality of Snagit, and then also, how you can use the picture in picture to create some amazing screencasts using Snagit 2022. Now, the first thing I'll do is I will get my desktop up. So here we have our desktop and now let's get Snagit up. Now here on the left-hand side, I can choose the all-in-one image or video. So let's go ahead and add video. And I'm now also going to turn on the record webcam functionality. So let's go ahead and toggle this on. You can see I can also select to record my microphone. So now let's go ahead and capture our screen. We're going to click on capture, entire screen, and it initializes that recorder. Now here you can see the webcam is right there on screen and I can move it around my screen. So let's just move it there. And let's say that it's a little bit too big. Well, I can make it smaller as well. So I can just drag these sides down. There we go. So that it's not too distracting. I can always turn my camera off and then on again, and I can start my recording. So let's go ahead and record. We get our familiar countdown and 
we are now recording. Now, as we record our screen, we can highlight different areas. We can even move the camera around. So I'm going to move the camera to the top. There we go. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And I can also now turn off that camera, maybe demonstrate some different things on screen again, and then turn that camera on again. This is the end of my recording. I can stop. This will automatically open up that recording in my editor. Here you can see we have that picture in picture on my screen. You can see that the recording did that just as I highlighted it. So picture in picture for those video recordings made with Snagit. Now another update to the Snagit 2022 is more tool tips. So for example here if I was to navigate to the move tool and I wanted to know exactly how this tool works and what it does, well I can always click on that question mark. This opens up the relevant website and I have some video animations right there that will show me how this tool works. This will greatly impact how you use Snagit and also how productive you are creating all those amazing lessons that you can create by taking screenshots, adding your own elements, and then also highlighting different parts of your screenshots. So lots of reasons here to upgrade to Snagit 2022. Still to this day, my favorite way to take screenshots. And now also with this picture in picture option, a great way to quickly record a video highlighting some different tips and tricks that you can share with students, parents, and colleagues. And I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you scroll down into that description, you'll find a link for Snagit 2022. That's an affiliate link. And that link will give you an additional discount on top of the educational discount already applied. You're not only supporting the channel, but you also get that additional discount. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.